David and I are here in uh, Rauschenberg's former studio in New York City, and which is, are now the offices of the Robert Rauschenberg Foundation. And we have a small presentation on the first floor gallery devoted to his works called The Cardboards. It followed a almost 10 year period of intense involvement with politics and technology and image-based work, which culminated in a a 54-foot-long piece called Currents, which he was um, taking imagery from the newspapers and um, trying to call attention to um, what was going on in the world. So this was a, a major swing away from that back to concentrating on materials. And it also happened to be a moment when he was moving and using cardboard boxes and, and um, not having the access to the other works that, the other materials that he often found beforehand in New York. But it also corresponds with an interesting moment in Bob's career too, not only the move that you ref mm. refer to, but the fact that I think typically in Bob's work he will clear his palate in some ways after he's had a long mm -hmm. moment of working rather intensely in a particular um, vein. So the cardboards really represent this kind of um, stripping back, if you will, and, the, and I think it coincided very nicely with, with the move and the fact that the, the detritus of the streets and the urbanity of New York wasn't no longer available to him in the same way. And I think he once made a, a nice quote, or, or I remember him in the literature saying something about, oh, um, well, it was easy to work with cardboard boxes because they were everywhere. Exactly. He said even when he went up the Amazon, he, <laughs> he couldn't get away from cardboard boxes. So. Well, it's interesting too with this body of work how the titles um, come about because Bob is often using rather humorous titles in his work and they in some ways have a direct reference to what you're seeing. And in this case, he relied more on the found element, um, not only of the material, but also to take the title. So in this piece, which is called... Bande de Sureté, Twin City, Nipples, with, with slash marks between those, those three groups of words. They're, those are all found on the, on the cardboard itself. So we're on the third floor now, which is, um, was really the center of, of life. <laughs> uh, the kitchen is at one end and this was um, I guess the living room. The works that are in now in, in on view or that one can see if they are visiting are a series called The Gluts. And this is a body of work that Bob began in 1986. And the name for the series comes from the glut in the oil market, which was going on pr primarily in Texas and across the South in the mid 80s from having had too much oil and uh, is that how it goes? Too much yeah, oil yeah, in the, yeah. and and therefore a lot of businesses and such had to close because they had lost prices decline, pri prices decline and such. And so the kind of um, refuge of that was Bob noticed when he was had gone to Texas in 1985 for just for an exhibition there to celebrate the sesquicentennial of that state, his home state, its 150th anniversary. And coming back to Captiva, he, he also saw that there were a lot of gas station signs that had been just lying around in the street or out in the junkyard. So being curious and inventive, he just found a way to start using those, those materials. Yes, particularly the gas station signs were the first maybe half a dozen gluts mm -hmm. were all using that material. So the, specifically the glut in the oil market and the gas, the closing of gas stations because of um, lack of business yeah. was the initial connection. But then it's a, another case of Bob collaborating with his materials and so he focused then for 
almost a 10 year period. One of the um, longest times when he would work over an extended period of time was with the Glutz, it's true. And so they are basically as assembled metal parts um, to which he has not added any paint or um, paint. <laughs> Well, paint or, or he's, he's, all, he's left the materials totally uninflected. In other words, he's assembled them in a way uh, to create these very interesting and very humorous kinds of collages that are, for the most part, wall hanging. There are some gluts that, are, that rest on the floor, but... Um, and, and some that go from one to the other. Yeah, always, always with Bob, it's true.